Ben, that was an awesome post. Hopefully you've gotten good feedback from that because it really, really inspired me, man. I, I, I that, That's exactly the same type of fighter that I like cheering for, covering, everything. Thank you, guys, man. I mean, it, like I've said in the past, man, but it, it seriously, like the way I came up, man, I was a fan of the game. And, uh, you know, at a very young age, I kind of had to, had to kind of come up with uh, – I guess my own strategy of, you know, if I was a fan in the stands, what would I want to be seeing? You know, what what do I find to be the most exciting? And, uh, you know, I try to create a style that, um, you know, fits that category. It's uh, it's definitely not easy, man. Um, and it's definitely taken me a long time to, uh, you know, kind of put it all together. But I think it's all finally, um, <laughs> you know, it's happened, man. And it's, it's obviously going to continue to grow better. Ben, you've often mentioned on the show about how much of a fan you are of mixed martial arts. And some of the names that you've brought up, you know, you just brought up Marcus Davis. Uh, you fought Joe Riggs. Now Patrick Cote. These are guys that really made a mark in, in the sport. Uh, is there something about having those skins up on your wall? Do you, do you like that facing guys that you probably grew up watching? Absolutely, man. I mean, anybody with a name in the game, it's an absolute honor to fight. And, in fact, those are the fights that I'm looking for. I would imagine most people and most fighters, those are the fights that they're looking for. Um, whether they have the skill set to beat them or not, just, you know, some people are just like, man, just to test myself. That was kind of like me against John Fitch, you know, back in the day. I think it was like 24, 48 hours notice. I didn't care, man. I was like, he's number two in the world. You know, he's beating everybody. The only person that stopped him was GSP. Uh, let's give it a shot, man. I definitely have a puncher's chance. I definitely can knock him out, uh, standing possibly. And, uh, let's see, let's see how, how it goes if he takes me down. That was a huge learning experience, man. And, you know, once again, I'll thank him all day long that if it wasn't for him and, uh, and Superman Hallman, man, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have stepped up my game and had to literally, you know, uh, go above and beyond what I was already doing to uh, to learn and get better. And, um, man, look at me now, man. Uh, I got the jits to back it up and the stand-up to back it up. When I left, people knew me as a striker with mediocre ground game. I came back, everyone was like, whoa, this guy's got jits now. And, uh, man, since I've been back, I think, it, I think you know, my back's hit the mat four times, and all four times, they're in trouble. 